four storms in less than a month pound the coast at Camp Ellis. The water is very high, then you have these massive waves on top of them that are just chewing away. Beaches, roads, even homes washing away. This is something they've had to deal with for decades, and it's time that it ends. State Senator Justin Shinnett is co-sponsoring emergency legislation in Augusta, demanding the federal government take action to mitigate erosion at Camp Ellis. This was a man-made problem that was self-created by the Army Corps of Engineers, and we just want something done about it. The Saco jetty was built in the late 1800s to help ships in the Saco River, but it's been blamed for erosion for years. In 2007, the federal government started a plan to fix the issue, but Congress never approved the $27 million in funding. We're looking at potentially tens of millions of dollars in beach replenishment um, that is needed, that we would need over the, the lifespan of the project, which is about a 50-year project. Officials say the Army Corps of Engineers hopes to build a second jetty right out next to that one here in Camp Ellis, hopefully fighting off some of these waves and all of that erosion. We need the Army Corps of Engineers to begin work immediately. We just saw with the latest round of storms, we lost another row, we, we were losing another home. This is just not okay for this to be happening. With each storm, officials say the area is more vulnerable. We lost about 10 to 15 feet of dune here at the southern portion. And as you get up closer to the state park, we lost about 20 to 30 feet. That's why legislators hope this move will push Congress to act. We cannot accept this any longer. In Camp Ellis, Dan Lamparello, CBS 13.